This is the Schrade SCX9 Locking Saw Axe. Versatility is at the heart of this 18-inch axe with a tie nitrate coated axe head with a 3.27 inch blade, hammer pommel, and 12 inch wood saw. The SCX9 eagerly takes on a host of outdoor chores. The titanium coated stainless steel head is shaped from 3CR13 steel, tough enough to absorb high impact blows. The blade is easily resharpened Use the pommel on the back side of the head to drive stakes or as a crushing tool. The black glass fiber filled full length PA handle is molded to the axe head for durability and increased safety. Use a low grip on the handle for power strokes. For increased control, slide your hand up the handle shaft to just below the axe head where a gentle contour offers a comfortable grip. Pop the saw blade safety snap and press the button at the base of the handle to release the integrated wood saw. A nail nick in the saw blade lets you easily rotate the blade into either of two locking positions. The 12 inch blade sharp teeth chew through wood, making short work of cutting tasks where a good saw comes in handy. To return the blade back into the handle of the SCX9, simply hold down the release button as you rotate the saw so that it rests protected in the handle. Snap the retaining strap for added safety. A black nylon belt sheath lets you carry the ax comfortably at your side while protecting the blade from dirt and grime. A versatile ax for camp, farm, or home, crafted from premium materials and built for a lifetime. This is the Schrade SCX9 Locking Saw Ax. Today at CRKT, we're going over the specs of one of the coolest tactical axes we've ever seen. You could say compact tomahawk. Ryan Johnson of RMJ Tactical designed this piece, and he told us this one was inspired by ancient Viking weaponry. And there is no doubt, this is the rune. The overall length from the base of the handle to the top of the head is exactly 12 inches. And to the end of the utility spike, to the axe edge measures in at 6.7 inches. The overall weight is 1 pound 8 ounces and this thing is built to last. That's 816 grams and it's designed to be used in tactical situations. No SWAT team or special forces group kits are complete without this welcome addition. The tool is forged from SK5 carbon steel with a black powder coated finish for extreme corrosion resistance. This notch on the blade is specially designed for choking up on for exceptional control and you can see both ends of this tool are sharp and versatile. The handles provide excellent grip in all conditions with or without gloves and the handles and sheath are both made of tough glass reinforced nylon, extremely durable. The sheath has a lot of carry options. You can strap it anywhere and clip the buckle, it's secure and mission ready. Join our social media community. Use the hashtag confidence in hand. And as always, thanks for watching and thank you for choosing to carry CRKT Knives and Tools. United Cutlery is proud to release this brand new M48 Camp Hawk Axe. Thanks to this innovative concept, you can enjoy all the qualities of United Cutlery's best-selling M48 Tactical Tomahawk on a slightly scaled-down size. It still provides almost all of the functionality of its larger counterpart in a versatile, compact size. The 2CR13 stainless steel axe head is perfect for light chopping duty, while the back spike is ideal for breaching and prying. The five and a half inch axe head is attached to the reinforced handle with three separate bolts that hold it securely in place and provide a sturdy, hefty feel in the hand. It is well balanced for throwing, yet small enough to easily fit in your backpack with all your other camping gear. Or choose to wear it on your belt loop with the included M48 nylon blade sheets. Don't miss your chance to pick one up today.
Hello and welcome. Today at Clacker Knives, we'll be learning about the Clax Lumberjack, the world's first hand tool that can make its own handle and become an axe without any added material. Every Clax comes with a ballistic nylon sheath. This sheath provides two carry options. The first is a belt loop on the back of the sheath. Velcro closure at the top allows for easy access to your Clax. Opening back here provides quick use of the carabiner so you can easily attach it to a strapper loop. As we take it out, the first thing to notice is the extra knife blade. This feature is useful as a hand tool for stripping branches and for scraping. When using the clax as a hand tool, grip the back end of the clax with your hand position behind the finger guard and your thumb on the top jimping. The knife edge has a 24 degree included angle which is even sharper than a typical kitchen knife. The primary blade is also very sharp. A typical axe head has a 50 to 60 degree beveled edge, but the clax is closer to 40 degrees to help counter the head's reduced weight when chopping. And when held downward, the axe blade can also be used as an ulu blade. The third blade on the clax is the cutting hook. It works well for cutting leather, rope, or paracord. In a pinch, it can also be used as a gut hook. It also functions as a bottle opener. Some unique features include a wrench set, a quarter inch hex bit driver, on the back you'll find an English or a metric ruler, a hammer head, and the lanyard hole. Let's head outside and I'll show you how to attach a handle to the clax using our patent pending clamping system. The prefabricated handle has several benefits over a field made handle. It's easier to mount and unmount. It has a mounting pin that adds rigidity and it requires less periodic tightening making the clax more effective. The first thing you'll want to do is unseat the clamps. Push up and twist the back clamp so that it locks into place. Then unscrew the front clamp with the rotating knob until you can twist it into its locking position. I like to reseat the clamp back into a lock position before I mount the handle. Slide the clax down the slot and screw the front clamp into place by turning the knob. Make sure the clamps rest within the notches on the handle. This helps to ensure the head is securely fastened to the handle. You wouldn't want it coming loose when you were chopping. Hit the hammer head at the back of the clax on a wood surface. Then retighten the clamps to seat the axe head for a secure fit. No matter how tight you screw the clamps initially, you will need to periodically tighten the head as you use it. This isn't because the clamps are loosening, it's because the wood compresses. Every time you chop with the clax, the wood handle is going to compress. This happens simply because the wood is softer than metal. Before we finish up, here's some notes to keep in mind. To ensure the clax works well with our traditional handle, as well as a field-made handle, We've added some tolerance to this system, so a slight rattling sound is perfectly normal. Don't hit the back of the clax head with steel of any sort, only wooden tools. Thanks for watching Clax Lumberjack Basics. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to make a handle from a branch, so stay tuned. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to see our new products as they roll out. Have a great day.